One of my favorite quotes goes like this. In a battle between strong technique and strong body, technique will prevail. And it deeply resonates with me because lights are my favorite class in Board of Tanks. And so I'm always fighting a strong body of the enemy tanks and if I want to prevail, I need to have a strong technique. And playing Board of Tanks for over a decade, I have developed a two-step method that helps me to maximize my chances of winning. In January, I was winning three out of four games following these simple ideas. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ayuxin and in this video, I'm sharing this two-step method to help you get better at the game, improve your skills, fix your statistics if you wish, and most importantly, increase the fun while playing the game. Would like to have a different build. Like Patton is two shots. If I can assassinate him. Oh, this is gonna be perfect, guys. This is gonna be perfect. STB is coming in as well. Maybe I can spot something. Oh. I think the best way to demonstrate any technique would be to see it. And for this video, I picked by hand games that you're about to see. We're following the same step-by-step -step tutorial for, to be able to perform in our games. Personally, I do not like to take unnecessary risk. As an example, on Abbey, I do not like to rush from the center, although you can have shots there, because I never know how many of the enemies is going to contest the hill, how many of my teammates is going to push with me. And so instead, I'm trying to find positions that work for myself, where I can be useful at the beginning of the battle, but also have a chance of escaping if things go south. And I think this is something that majority of the players in our game do not understand. Our game is not about controlling a plank, and later in the video you will see that the most exciting games are when one of the flanks is fallen, because enemy is going to push and now you have this unique scenario, a situation where you have to adapt and that's what makes it fun. But sadly, many of the light tanks never get to see this part of the game, where you get to use your speed because number of enemy tanks is reducing there is more space on the battlefield to maneuver but they are dead and so step number one guys you want to come up with the positions yourself or copy it from others where you are able to go at the beginning of the battle and be somewhat useful if a game starts with the seven light tanks you don't have to spot. You can be a sniper light tank at the beginning of the game and assist your light tanks who is providing vision. Why not? You don't have to spot. You're playing with the heavy tank. There is three artists and seven mediums. You do not know how the game is going to develop. You can sit on the base until you see an opportunity, a play to make. I like to say that if you don't know what to do in the battle, just don't do anything. And that is transition into the step number two. After in in taking initial position, where you somewhat useful, you see how the team is establishing. You get information where the enemies are, and that way you can make a better decision. You can be together with a group of the team pushing through the city, or maybe you will see that your base is falling and you need to come back. And that is, gentlemen, a decade of experience in just a couple of minutes. Step number one, try to take a position where you are able to assist your team, but also where you're able to retreat. If you are pushing on the hill of Tundra, on the hill of Karelia, you are going to be stuck there if you don't have enough support. And so, try to find ways of uh, playing around it. Step number two, look at the minimap after taking this initial position and try to understand what would be the next uh, position to take based on your team position. And in this video, you will see 
that I'm following exactly this idea and guys games that we are getting is absolutely insane. Enjoy the video. Like no stress whatsoever. But it can be done even faster because you can have x3 bonuses five times from a premium account, you know? It can be done extremely, extremely fast. Bro, and I, I got spotted for nothing. Nice. Wait, we have no information about their light. We had 97% on T100. Oh, I remember now. I was trying to go for 100. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. What are we talking about? New marathon or something? No, no. Just someone asked how many games it takes uh, to get all of the things unlocked. And uh, I estimated like 50,000 games without stress. Okay, if he's pushing me by himself, he cannot kill me if I do not receive a damage from anybody else. This can be insane, insane round, Al Capone. This can be extremely interesting. Let's try to kill him without taking any damage. Like this we can play cooldown. Oh, the light is running away. He's actually being smart. It is impressive he ran. As killing lights are the most important. I need to run after this. That's insane. That is insane that G-Saur is here guys. I should have run maybe sooner. That's huge. That's huge. Now one shot lights is taking the base. It's three on the cap. No way. Can I win this?
No, wait, I, I died, no? No, 396! Okay, I was thinking for a second. I was thinking for a second to hold the shot to kill the uh, IMX. But uh, I think we did win the game. So, okay, few mistakes I made. First, after resetting on this guy, I didn't have to push in. I could have stayed in the buildings because my team was uh, coming. You know? Uh, but it was good enough. It was good enough to turn this game around. Nice. Hello, Vasik Nova. Doing good, man. Doing good. A, a little bit misplay at the end. Could have played a lot better. Look. Killing this guy? I'm full. We, we only took one shot from the from this guy. Right? And then 420? 44396! I should have survived anyway. Guys. Look at this. 420. That's 30 extra. 54 extra and then 4 extra. Wow. It's okay. We take that anyway. Was a was a good round. All right, uh, I think we're gonna do the usual, go in the bush here, and then see what happens. Now imagine if he's gonna send hello back in this bush. I don't think they're playing around the middle. I mean, it's 121B and concept. Okay, 121 is here. I'm gonna go. If concept is playing middle, I'm just gonna outplay him. Then I will donate 20? <laughs> what? No, you are not. No, you are not, bro. That's, that's too much. Wow, wonderful shot. I legitimately think they do not have anyone on the middle. Like, I would spot concept. Unless he's like in the cover. No, he is not there. Yeah, yeah, look. He's camping. What can I do with this information? I can farm. What? Where did that go? We have STRV coming, which is amazing. Bro, I'm just gonna do this. I love doing this with my lightning so much! Mm. 
Oh no, not, not dead, not dead, not dead. Uh. Okay. Make them scared of my light tank. Oopsie. Does anybody know why this is happening? It says that the gun is reloading, but it was clearly not. Someone... Uh, p please, guys, if you know the reason why it's happening, please let me know, because it's happening so often. And it started happening pretty recently, honestly. Okay, can we finally get some assistance at the end of the round? Hmm... I do not want to risk just yet. I would like some of my teammates get spotted, someone with the HP perhaps? Okay, perfect. Now we need to find another FV. Maybe I can proxy spot him, maybe he is still here. And with the full information to our display. That was fast. Oh, another one if he is there. Okay, I think he's sitting at the bottom there. So we can just go on the on above him and uh, farm, farm, farm. Arty, thank you. <gasps> oh! Got him! Piece of cake. Can you do a single battle that is under 2k combined so I could feel better about myself? <laughs> no. I'm perfectly fine. Let's uh, ask our Ebier what he wants to do. I don't like when both of the light tanks go in the same position. He's AFK. Okay, guys, this is Ebear with the HP boost. This is Ebear with Shut HP up, boost. No. No. Are you down to watch a replay Sin 3? Of course. Wait, is it? No, maybe it's not an HP boost. Wait, maybe not. Maybe I'm bugging. Okay, now we need EBR to get spotted on the middle and I can try to sneak up there. Sheridan is running away. Budget is spotted, okay. EBR is spotted. See you soon, guys.
Okay, gut. Gucken. Nice art. <laughs> nice art, he said. Okay, I need E-Bear to be spotted again. And I want to sneak in that bush now. I want him to get spotted and go that way. Or maybe not. Two hundred fifty meters, it has to be like three hundred something. They will never find me, guys. Honestly, easiest 12,000 damage in my life. No way! What? 327. I thought he's going to die immediately. Wow. You are watching a master at work. <laughs> oh, wow. 13,000. Huh? In five minutes. What I, what I was saying is that if I have a game with a vehicle that I would like to feature, I'm going to play more to have a couple of rounds and uh, then make a video about it. So. Uh, if you request a video, uh, a battle uh, with the M41 and uh, the battle is amazing, like worth putting on the YouTube, then I'm gonna play more of it. And now that we have uh, a uh, internal storage that we have bought 24 terabytes, we are able to record streams in higher quality and store a, like a lot more uh, of the games. And uh, this way we are featuring on the YouTube almost uh, everything with longer games. Is my uh, Sixth Sense broken, guys? Oh, I was thinking for a second, maybe it is? Okay, I mean, we're almost at 2000 damage. I will take that. Pattern is gonna die. 
I could try to push down now. Can I make a boost from here with this angle? Okay. This boost is really nice to learn how to do it because you are not getting spotted by the light tank. Now, I'm gonna ping at the light tank, maybe. Okay, you see our uh, TD is ready to shoot and now we're going to surprise him. Okay, he's not here. Okay, we're going up. And if I meet uh, T100 here, I should be able to kill him in 1v1. Okay, we're meters, I will get spotted. Yeah. I'm not sure how my team is doing here. Bro, please. Okay, T100 is coming. I should run. Maybe I can use this bush to outplay uh, Action X, but I would need a high roll. Okay, the light tank is somewhere on the middle. That guy's playing cooldown. Uh, okay. He's trying to run now. Okay. I'm just going to kill him. I have faster reload now. So I can just try to bounce. I mean, try to pen him. Okay, the problem is that those guys can push like this now. He's dying to the... Okay, I'm in huge troubles now. I got spotted, wow. But okay, I think that... Uh, IMX is gonna be reloading.
and I mix is one shot. Okay, boys. I do not fight. I do not want to fight him. I cannot really run away. I think I have to try. I have to try to dodge them. Go back to base. If I can connect with the button somehow. If I can make this play, it is going to, it might be even game winning play. Please. Okay, Monty is on the base. Oh no, I maybe need to, maybe I need to keep my HEs. IPs I mean. <sighs> okay, he didn't spot me. One versus what? Million. Ah, uh, the problem is a Centurion with the 1400 HP. They have three extremely fast tanks. No bueno, guys. I think we did well. I do not think it's gonna be enough. Oh no. Okay, a little bit lucky here. My hands are shaking a little bit. I should not have shot, no. Because I get... I get no, I got spotted there. I, I actually, no, I think I was too close anyway. Ah, yeah, yeah, man. <sighs> that, that was nuts. At the beginning of this video, I only shared a first part of this quote because I wanted to talk about technique, but the full quote goes like this. In a battle between strong technique and strong body, technique will prevail. And in the battle between strong mind and strong, strong technique, strong mind will prevail because it will find a weak spot. I think it is natural that we always try to improve as a player playing video games, we're trying to learn more about our jobs, to increase earning ability but there is a problem if you have wrong mindset you divide efforts by zero that's why having the right mindset is very important watch this video next to see if you already have it or maybe you need to put a little bit more efforts into it to hit your goals